Alright guys, um, I wanted to go over some rise and throttling because it's very, very hard to catch rise and throttling. In fact, I had to do a custom setup on the CPU to actually catch it. I know it's throttling because the scores are bad, but you can't actually catch it in CPU-Z. With the certain setup that I have in here right now, I can actually catch it. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to drop my fan speed down to a normal level and I'm just going to rip this thing at the speed of 3994, basically 4 gig. Now, as you can see, there's a score of 1793 up there. That's actually really, really good for 4 gig for a board that does not have a bias setting. So we're going to give this a shot. We're going to run it a couple times. Now, as you can see, it's starting to throttle right there. Now, the score went down to 1770. Now, if I run it again, since there's already heat, the throttling should be more aggravated. As you can see, it's dropping to 36, 36. And the score is just plummeting. And, and this is what people are seeing. And they're not realizing why their score is dropping. And it's because with certain multipliers, it's just not showing up. CPU-Z is not tracking it. But the chip is indeed throttling back. I can't catch it. I can only tell by the temps because it reaches a certain temp. On this particular board, it, uh, I believe it's T-Dye 75C, which is really low for whatever reason. But on this particular BIOS, it's 75C. So I can actually catch it throttling quicker than I can on some other board. But pretty much, the CPU reaches a certain temperature and then that's it. It won't go over that temperature. The CPU is throttling back. You can't see it throttling back. The speed says it's the same speed. But the performance is just not there. And the temps will not go over a certain point. I haven't had it shut down on me. It just won't exceed that temperature when I start hitting throttling. So now we're going to run it again. And this time we've got my fan on ridiculous settings. So. And as you can see, near the end of the run, starting to throttle a little bit. I could probably get the score up to 1800 without bias at sub 4 gig, which is pretty impressive. Just because we're not throttling. I'm going to let it cool down and we're going to run it one more time. Let me see if we can break that 1800 mark. I also have in the BIOS right now, I actually have the EDC throttling uh, set to enable to lower the amount that it throttles, but it's still throttling back. Disabled would be by default, would be AMD throttling, which is actually more aggressive than what I'm running right now. All right, let's give this one more shot.
And see, we got a run that almost did not throttle at all, and we hit a 1791, which is very respectable on a board that has no BIOS setting. Um, the memory settings are pretty good. It's 3400. Um, it's not super tight. It's not super loose. It's moderate right now. But I just wanted to show that if some of you guys are experiencing, like, even, like, moderate, um, moderate, uh, throttling, I was hitting scores of like 1740, 1760. So, if you guys are seeing like performance that doesn't add up, you're just not getting the performance you should be, you're probably running into a temp limit on your processor and you need to cool it better. You need to either increase the water, go to water cooling, increase the fan speed, um, one of the two, uh, maybe a better mount, maybe better paste. I'm using really horrible paste right now, so, I mean, but I've got a good cooler on it. I've got a aggressive fan. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that. Um, I don't think that you're going to hit throttling in games because you're just not at full usage of the chip, but in heavily multi-threaded pass, it, you can definitely hit throttling without better forms of cooling. All right, I just thought this would be helpful to some of you guys out there. So, see you next time.